Search efforts are continuing on the ferry which sank after colliding with a cargo ship near Cebu in the Philippines. We can speak now to our correspondent Barnaby Lowe in Talisay City uh, to get the very latest. Hi there Barnaby, good to see you there. Uh, this is still uh, a very tragic story. Um, I, I presume that the casualties are rising. What's the latest figure you can give us? Well, Edwin, the figures have actually changed quite dramatically. 34 people have been declared dead. Two bodies were found earlier this morning under the vessel by divers. But this is where it gets dramatic. And only 85 people are missing now. Officials who held the presser just moments ago said that seven, 751 people have been found alive and have been rescued. They almost made it. The pier was visible to more than 800 passengers and crew on board the 40-year-old ferry St. Thomas Aquinas. But the ship would never dock. Instead, it headed on a collision course with a cargo vessel going the opposite direction. The cargo vessel bumped the passenger vessel, then it turned on its side. Most of these survivors had jumped off the ship just as it was sinking. But it didn't take long before it had completely capsized. Many passengers never made it out. Others were not able to escape the ship. Some were trapped inside. Some died because of the petrol. The Thomas Aquinas sunk just a little over a mile or some two kilometers away from this port. The cargo ship that hit the passenger vessel is actually still anchored there. And it's partly because of this proximity that rescuers were able to rush to the scene and within a few hours were able to rescue close to 600 passengers. Still, scores of people remain missing. Search and rescue operations were in full swing Saturday morning. Members of the Philippine Coast Guard and Navy scoured the waters around the site of the accident. More dead bodies were recovered. People came looking for their loved ones and answers as to how and why the two ships collided at sea. But so far, the answers are few. Investigation is underway, according to officials, but the cause remains unknown. Well, Edwin, search and rescue operations continue today. The weather has improved significantly, but we went out with search and rescue workers uh, to earlier today, and we personally experienced just how big the waves are, just how strong the currents are. So definitely a big task for search and rescue uh, workers. They're saying search and rescue now because they're still hoping that they will find survivors. Edwin? All right. Uh, well, we certainly hope they do. And as you say, still uh, 85 people missing. But uh, many thanks for that update, uh, Barnaby. Barnaby Lowe there reporting to us from Manila.